All right, I want to look at, it is now February the 1st and it is 4.02. I'm going to continue all of this today. I'm going to finish this message today. Um, Alien versus Predators. It's really, it's a series that I'm going to do throughout the rest of this first week of February. So for the first seven days of February, I'm going to confront um, the predators, uh, predatory lenders, financial predators, emotional predators, psychological predators, manipulation or manipulative predators, um, false prophetic predators, people who prey on a tear dropping from your eye. I was crying this morning. I was crying because I was in the middle of doing, but it was real. Y'all ain't see me crying. I was in the middle of doing um, an assignment of quizzes and testing um, for a psych, psych course. And in the middle of it, I kept seeing a vision. And I couldn't shake the vision and God was talking to me and he was speaking to me and showing me stuff. And it made me cry. And it made me cry, like cry. But let me deal with this first. And I'm gonna tell y'all what that was. They said, verse 15, let me go to verse 15 and, and not play with this. Um, and the evil spirit answered and said, Jesus, I know, I know Jesus. I have a relationship with Jesus. Jesus made me. Mm, y'all, I know y'all can't stand me, but it's okay, because I don't live off of your oxygen. Mm, mm, mm. And the evil spirit answered and said, Jesus, I do know him. <laughs> I, I know who Yeshua Hamashiach is. I knew him in our first estate meeting. I knew him in the second estate meeting. I, I knew him when, 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 when he was high and he was almighty and seated on the circle of the earth. I have a, an, a previous experience with Jesus. I know who the son of God is, is what an evil spirit said. Not a righteous spirit, not a spirit of wisdom, not a spirit of understanding, not a spirit of might, not a spirit of revelation. Forget your revelation because your revelation is demonic. This revelation is real. You want to talk about me behind the scenes? I'm going to talk about you to your face. Stand down, my nigga. That's a direct command. Stand down. Call that crazy. Call that whatever you want to call it. But I'm going to be anointed. And, 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 and the spirit that is evil speaks up. It's an evil spirit, okay? Oh, she's saying that's an evil spirit. And then an evil spirit knows God. And I guess she's trying to imply or infer that God loves the evil spirit. Well, whatever. Because maybe he does. Maybe he does. Hold on. Uh, and then the evil spirit said another thing. He says, I, I, I even know the apostle Paul. I know about his teaching. I saw him learning and studying and practicing. I saw him and knew him when he was persecuting the church because I was the evil spirit that helped him persecute the church. He said, I knew y'all, y'all don't want it, y'all don't want it, y'all don't want it. And if anybody say where I get this type of anointing from, where I get this type of wisdom from, where I get this type of power from, I swear for God, it did not come from, from nobody of nobody churches I was ever associated with. It came from Almighty God, oh, 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 Almighty God, oh, 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 Almighty God. And the evil spirit says, and Paul, I, I know, I, I was there when he did that to Stephen, so I know Paul. I know you want to leave me. But I refuse to let you go. 
If I got to beg and plead, I know the temptations because he says he's the one that even calls temptation. Tempt you with this, tempt you with that, tempt you with this, tempt you with that, tempt you with this. No, this ain't Crystal, this Christine. Christos, Christina, anointed one, Messiah in the Greek, okay? Follower of Christ, I'm drenched with oil. I'm the one who God took through a real process and I ain't took nobody husband. And the Bible says, and I ain't got no table laid out before me with no notes or nothing either. I saw something, I'm gonna tell y'all what I saw, boy, when I see, when I tell y'all, I was like, where is, why are they saying, cause I saw uh, Dr. Matthew Stevenson say it. Like, what is he talking about? They was like, we don't know which one to believe. They look alike or something. Then I saw another man say, y'all copying off of people. Then I saw another man say, I said, who's saying this? Where's the leak? I couldn't find the leak. I was like, who, who's copying off who? Because I swear to God, I got five children in my home. Once God done healed, once God done delivered, he done delivered me. I ain't never went to go to my sister page. I think one time in my entire 20 last year did I ever see her page. I went to uh, Prophetess uh, Doctor, which y'all done made her go get that doctor title because y'all tried to mentally abuse her, psychologically abuse her for so long until you wanted to remove the prophetess from her name or prophet from her name. You wanted to remove the supernatural part of who she was from her name because y'all was jealous. Jealous of that woman. Yeah, you was jealous. You're still jealous right now. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You're jealous. And, and the Bible says, and an evil spirit spoke up. And an evil spirit. Oh, let me get into the word of God. Because y'all, y'all, I'm, I'm gonna beat y'all down tonight. Y'all gonna get y'all gonna y'all gonna like uh, y'all gonna get beat down tonight. I put that on my mama and put that on my daddy. And the Bible says in Isaiah 45, verse 7, I Form the light and I create darkness. I make peace and I create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. I create the good and the evil. So when the spirit spoke up and started confronting those who had a form of godliness while denying the power thereof, the spirit that was evil knew good and evil, light and darkness. So the spirit knew, nah, you ain't even real. No, nah, nah, no, no, you ain't even real screwing your spiritual daughters. No, you ain't even real wanting to marry and rape your spiritual daughters who done came through your ministry. No, you not even real. You ain't seen the prodigal son in 50 years. You perverted, mentally disane, and mentally distorted individual. And you say that as soon as you see some, a member that left your church, they've been gone from your church for 10 years. They've been gone from your edifice. For 15 years and the first thing you say when you see them, my nigga, you crook from New York. And the only thing you say is... Where's my offering at? Where's my money? You pig, go work for it. Go work for it. That's where it's at. And the Bible says, talking about you, when, when the prodigal son come home, the, the Bible says that they gave to the prodigal son, didn't take from him. He had already spent all of it what he had. He didn't have nothing else. And so to have to face a crack addict or a drug addict in the pulpit or an alcoholic in the pulpit or, or, or a carnally minded, fleshly, greedy peasant in the pulpit that's begging you for more of your money, more of what you got and you already depleted and you already barely walking, barely standing because of all of the hell you've been through and all they can talk about is they need to see, give me, please run me my money, please give me what I deserve. I heard you laughing. And the Bible says... That an evil spirit. See, the reason why God has to create evil spirits is because y'all evil. Y'all, y'all, y'all got something from the devil. So because y'all got something from the devil that y'all be using, God gotta give us something too. So what we gotta have is something that is evil. We got to have something that is like the serpent, although we are not the devil. We are not the serpent. We are as wise as him. The only thing we took from that cunning lion demon is the wiseness that he had. And that only talks about how he deals with dirt and dirty situations and how he slithers and how he's so creepy. Oh, creep, creep, creep. Always loving to be around the rock. Ain't even got a backbone. And the Bible says that, that after the evil spirit, that God created, because God did create it, 
He said, I create the light and the darkness. So even if the spirit came out of the light or the spirit came out of darkness, the spirit that was evil beat the hell out of the seven sons of Sceva. Seven sons. You're supposed to be perfected, completed. You're supposed to be absolute. You're supposed to be great. You're supposed to be powerful. You're supposed to have all these things. You ain't got nothing. You ain't nothing. You ain't got nothing at all. And so one evil spirit beat the crap out of seven. How does one evil spirit beat the heck out of what's perfected? What's supposed to be perfected? What's supposed to be tried? Because see, see, the reason why y'all getting whipped so bad, the reason why y'all so beat down so bad, and the reason why y'all running, and the reason why uh, y'all fleeing seven different ways, and the reason why y'all ain't got no power no authority is because you feel as though you had as you you had access to you, you feel as though you 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 had and you were uh you were obligated or god was obligated to give you a certain level of power and a certain level of authority without you ever going through anything to get it and so then you think that because your title of your daddy say he a jew because your title of your daddy say he a priest. Because the title of your daddy say he the pastor of such and such my, 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 my church. You think you got that? You ain't got nothing. Ugh. Purit. 